Hey kids, it's Mr. Fly here, hope you're well. Absolutely beautiful day here in Spain, where you join me for another of my occasional series on the channel, Meet the Vlogger. Today, I'm gonna to introduce you to somebody that I've been watching on YouTube for absolutely ages. It's none other than Bruce Teapot One. Stick around, stay tuned. Excellent, so here I am with Bruce, none other than Teapot One. Thanks very much, Bruce, for coming along. And uh, thank you for agreeing to talk to me here on MTV, Meet the Vlogger. <laughs> so you're number two for these, I think, um, well, I don't mean number two. That's, that's a chap. Let's just let's not worry about that. Anyway, so Bruce, tell I know us, my place. For the, exactly for those of us or those of the people that do, and I can't believe there are many of these that don't know your channel or what it's about. Mm -hmm. Can you t tell us a bit about what Teapot One is all around? Yeah, um, Teapot One started back uh, 2011, 2012, and it started off as a round the world trip I did on a GSXR thousand. Yep. Um, I'm a copper. Don't hate me. <laughs> um, and Teapot One is something to do with uh, the police in the Met in London, and um, I just called it that because I thought, well, at least the, the people that I work with will know what Teapot One means and at least they'll follow my trip. And in case anyone's intrigued, it's actually a, it's a, it's a snack van, isn't it? It is, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a tea wagon, basically. In, and well, that's the cool side. In the old bill, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it just yeah. meant you got five minutes off the front line if there's a, you know, a, a large-scale deployment of officers. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, it's a bit surreal talking to you because I've, I've been watching you ever since about 2012, right. way before I started making videos, actually, or doing them in, in any way seriously. So, um, and I bought your book and I was a huge fan and now that I'm sitting here with you now, I just find it's quite bizarre. Well, then now, of course, you've got the beard. Uh, and the Round the World stuff, I thought, was absolutely amazing. So if, you haven't watched, if you haven't watched Bruce's Round the World stuff, check out his channel. I'll put links below, of course. Go and have a watch that. It's just brilliant, engaging stuff. Um, it starts but, off slow, but it does get better. Oh, it's great. That is great from the start. And what I loved about it is you did it real time, didn't you? So yeah, I used to tune in every couple of weeks and see what you'd uploaded. Yeah, so that was, right, yeah. that was what was great about it. Yeah. Then you disappeared off the face of the earth. Mm -hmm. And then you came back and started making really flashy, fancy edited vids that put mine to shame. <laughs> so what got you into going, what got you back onto YouTube and started making videos? videos that aren't about going around the world? I uh, I struggled when I came back, to be honest, sort of getting back into my old way of life because it's, yep. it's so different to, to life on the road. I loved being on the road and it was so different to my normal life, my yeah, working life. Yeah, it's yeah. Top, total polar opposite, relying completely on total strangers, who, yeah. you know, in different countries, different cultures, and you're really opening yourself up. And I, I loved that. Yeah, I, and yeah. I felt like I thrived. Yeah. And coming back into my old way of life, I didn't like it. I felt really smothered. And, and for about a good year, year and a half, I was totally lost. Did you sort of think that might be the case before you went off? Because it's, no. it's Right, no. okay. So that surprised you a bit. Yeah, no one really, everyone talks about getting ready to go and being on the trip. Nobody ever spoke about what happens after dealing with life when you come back. Yeah. And having come back and been open about how I struggled with it, there's a lot of people in the same boat, to be honest with you. So, yeah. if you're thinking of doing something like that, you, you have to be aware that you may get the sort of post trip blues like you've never had before. <laughs> so, so, you had the post trip blues, and is mm. that then so? Did you think, well, maybe I'll go back to YouTube to fill a bit of that void? Or yeah, what? It, it was. I, I missed. I missed the sort of interaction, and, mm. and that's weird because I've got really good friends, I've got good family, but I, I missed the the interaction that you get online. You know, just total random strangers. Well, I can completely relate to that because mm. of my recent Christmas break, where I said I was going to be off for two weeks. Yeah, I managed about three days, and yeah. I thought actually there's something I'm not doing here, yeah. and it does. It sort of gets under your skin a bit, doesn't Absolutely. it? It's great. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I think as a as a vlogger, if yeah. you like, yeah. you 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 have that inbuilt need for for. Recognition know. and appreciation. Re I, well, no, but it is. It's, it's weird. It, it sounds. It sounds really big headed and I don't mean it that way. It does, but I think it's once you've done it, you then miss it. I mean, it's not yeah. something before I started. I never felt that I needed that. Yeah. But once you've done it and tasted a bit of it, it's good. Yeah. It tastes good, doesn't it? And the you miss of it. People that, that got in touch with me to say, you know, they were really inspired from the trip, and it, all of a sudden it gave them the kick up the arse that yeah. when I followed other people's trips before I went, it gave me the inspiration to go. Yeah. And and to know that. I was having that effect on other people. It was it was great. That is Loved brilliant, it. isn't it? I love those are the best comments mm. when people say you've inspired me to get into biking absolutely. or go on a trip. It, yeah. It's absolutely great. So I just thought, well, you know, YouTube was really coming to the fore again then because when I went 2012, 2014, YouTube was was there. It was big, but it was nowhere the level that it is now. Yeah. And you know the 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 production levels were nowhere near oh, what they are now. Yeah, now it's, it's now. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah. It. So end of 2016, I just thought, you know, I miss I miss that interaction, chucking out vids. Yeah. So um, I was following a couple of other people and, and thought, oh, 
give I'll, it a go. I'll give it a crack and just see. Really? And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So the sorts of vids you're doing now, and I don't mean to just skirt over the around the world trip because that is mm -hmm. a major thing. And as I say, go and check that out. That's a, just a great thing. But uh, you're not doing around the world vids now. Are you? What sort I'm of not, videos no. you do, are you covering on the channel? My sort of mantra is something that my my mom said to me before. My mom lost her battle with, with cancer, and that sort of gave me the inspiration to do the trip because mm. she turned around to me and she said, "Look after those that you love, but live your life." Yeah. And um, that live your life really has stuck with me. And um, you know, you, you don't need to bugger off around the world to, to, you know, to live your life. It's just a question of everyone has to work. Everyone's got to pay bills. Everyone's got to pay mortgages. Yep. But the time that you get away from that day job, you've got to make yeah. the most of it. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah, yeah. You know, for, me, for me personally, what's the point? I you know, have, you just you're leaning on an open door with, with me on that mm. one. And in fact, I go one step further and say, actually, if you can, if you can wangle it so that the job you do, you actually like as well, 100%. even better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, there are Not some... all in that fortuitous position. Well, no, no, <laughs> and it's taken me 30 years to get to that Absolutely, point. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, and, and I had to actively position myself. I, I, it was only when I was about 30 that yeah. I thought to myself, actually, I don't want to spend the rest of my life doing this. Yeah. And, I, and it took me 20 years to position myself Absolutely. to be lucky enough to do what I love doing now every yeah. day, which is great. And um, so, yeah, I wholeheartedly get the whole live your life thing. And if you can, if you know, if any youngsters watching, if you can get a job you actually like doing, do that rather than follow the money. I follow the money 100%. and you're wasting your time. Because yeah. yeah. um, you're never going to, there's always somebody that's richer than you. There's always a new gadget or a new car or a new house yeah. or a new yacht, yeah. uh, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you're never going to, you know, you're striving for something you'll never reach. Mm. So just to concentrate on being happy, I think, is, is the thing. But anyway, Absolutely. So, yeah. The um, risk we, is sounding like a tree hugger. We're, yeah, we're going to go into a bit of a philosophical <laughs> rat hole if we're not careful, yeah. aren't we? So, the videos you've made so far, what sort of videos do you find that uh, do the best? What do you, um, what do you, and also what do you like making, and what, what don't you make on YouTube? I really enjoy, and it's sort of counter counterproductive, really, I really enjoy the big trips. Yep umpteen different cameras, yeah. a mixture of the onboard moto vlogging, yeah. the the B-roll with the cinematic shots, yeah, yeah, yeah. colour editing, you know, post-production. I, I love all that. The drones. polar opposite of this video, in fact, because well, we're doing it to a, to a GoPro yeah. <laughs> with, with absolutely none of that fancy yeah. stuff. Like Casey Neistat, Peter McKinnon, they're big influencers on me and, you know, I, the, the, I'll never, I don't think I'll ever attain what they, the levels that they are at. I but I look at them and think to myself, oh, I would love, I would love to yeah. have a, a a twentieth of that level. Well, are you there? You're way more than that, oh, Bruce. No. I've, I've. Um, one of the things that. I think is so good about your channel now is the high production values. It's oh, way yeah. better than anything I could ever do. I haven't got the know-how, the patience, the technicality to do that. Yeah. Uh, and Bruce's videos are really, uh, you know, high production value stuff. So, and I know how much work goes into that. So, okay. uh, so they're top notch. So, but if you like that sort of thing, Bruce is your man. We discussed this, didn't we? It's like you, you spend literally days and days, sometimes weeks, yeah. on these big post-production videos. Yeah. And they'll get an okay response, and then you do a quick one that you batter together, and you think, "Oh, this is terrible." You whack it out, and it <laughs> and it's like one of your best videos you've ever. I done. know. And the <laughs> other thing is, you never know what's going to do well and what isn't, do you? Absolutely. So the, yeah. the one that you've not put much effort into yeah. goes absolutely amazing. The one that you put a lot of effort into doesn't, which is always yeah. a bit of a bit of a joke. It's a bit like fishing, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> it absolutely is. So um, on that note, have you ever had any videos that have gone like viral or have done particularly well that surprised you? Uh, on YouTube. I don't think I've had a viral video. Oh no! I'm gonna say, I when I say viral, I mean it just done yeah. more than better than you would normally my, expect. My biggest video so far was how much does it cost to travel around the world? Right. And um, that one for me, I think that's had about 160,000 views. Right. Wow. And for yeah. me, that yeah, is that, big. That, that's good for because my videos yeah, yeah. Are tend to be between sort of five and ten thousand yeah. normally. Yeah. That, that sort of range. Yeah. But that one really went big. Uh, Facebook, Facebook for me for some reason is the big one. Yeah. Um, you know, I've got 110 odd thousand followers on that, and I've wow. one of my, my my trailer for the Around the World vid did like 4.7 million That's views amazing, in like a day. It? That's amazing. That was nuts. That was insane. But you know, it's weird because you can't convert that across onto the no different YouTube. audiences somehow. Yeah. I, I can't quite get my head around how they all interrelate. But, but there we go. Brilliant. Yeah. So, how long typically would you spend filming versus editing? And is there anything about the YouTube process that you don't like? That I don't like. Uh, no, I, I, I think, I, think I, I love YouTube because to, to me, I haven't cracked it. I don't feel like I've cracked it yet. So everything is still, yeah. every day's a school day, you know, yeah, and, and, sure. yeah. and everything's a learning curve. You know, I, I sit and I trawl through the videos on how to do this and how to do that, yeah. how to get more views, yeah. try this, try that. And the algorithm on YouTube seems to be, you know, it seems to be constantly changing and, and mm. not exactly self-learning, but it, it just seems to self-develop and change. Yeah. 
And it feels like even the gods at YouTube don't understand it. Yeah, so I think you're probably right, actually. It's, 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 it's a magic at Google going it on is. that no one really understands. And, but it constantly forces you to try different things, you know? Yeah, try yeah. different SEO, try different titles, tags, yeah. try different content, thumbnails, everything. So for anyone out there that might be thinking about, oh, maybe I'll give this YouTube game a go, because mm -hmm. it's a great thing to do. Yep. What Any hints and tips that you give people that are starting out? What's the most important things to do if you're going to build a motor, um, motor vlogging, for want of a better term, video uh, channel? In all honesty, I would say to begin with, you know, to, to begin with, just just get content out doesn't doesn't matter about the quality just get content out there mm. and be yourself on camera um, start churning out the videos uh, and you will learn you'll you will become more at ease on camera you'll you'll find whatever character persona fits you best you'll find that eventually on camera it'll yeah. all click um, just be yourself and I, I was just gonna say that actually that's the the you're on camera persona of course is different to the real you yeah but I think it has to be based on the real one absolutely you're gonna look quite like that yeah, person yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, but at the same time um, I think that's the key isn't it be yourself if you try and be something you're not yeah that, that's gonna look fake and that ain't yeah. gonna work not so, everybody yeah. is gonna like you but the people that will like that's you sure. if you're yourself they'll become your little niche your your little clan your community and YouTube is all about community it yeah. really is yeah, yeah, honestly yeah. and it's you, not TV is it it's a different thing uh, absolutely yeah, 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 totally yeah. and if yeah. you can if you can connect if you like with your followers it doesn't matter if you've got a hundred followers or you've got a hundred thousand ten million doesn't matter if you can connect with those people mm. then you know, for me, you've, you've done it. You've got it anyway. You, don't get into YouTube thinking you're going to get rich. No, just just, just don't. There are people that get rich. Yeah, but, but they're the unusual ones. Absolutely, yeah. yeah just yeah. You've, To be a success at it, you've got to love it. You've really got to enjoy it. And it is hard graft. Don't think it's easy. It yeah. is hard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what's the future for the for the Teapot One channel then? I, just f for me, I'm, obviously I'd like to grow. I, I would like loads more subscribers purely because that's just you know that's a personal thing you, you would just like that little bit of recognition I think yeah. but um, I want to get out around the UK get out around Europe and meet the subscribers the followers okay, um, so more, my, tr more trips abroad and at home meet uh, the subscribers yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. you know I, I don't get because of the day job I don't get a lot of time off um, yeah. but when I do I, I don't I don't mind jumping on the bike and riding to Spain to Germany ride to Austria uh, I'm even looking at trying to pop across into the States or maybe India this year well, for four yeah, or five yeah, days. Yeah, just good. batter over there and try and meet people because the beauty of online is that you know you get people following you from out of Mongolia. Yeah, you know, you've got friends me? everywhere, haven't you? You, you yeah, do, which is, which is fantastic. And you've got to open yourself up to that so when people offer you, you know, when, you've got to come to my place, come and meet me and I'll take yeah, you on those yeah, roads. Yeah. And, and that's what I love, that's what I want to try and do. Fantastic. Well, mm. it's been fabulous meeting you. Uh, well, we met before, of course, <laughs> well, but yeah, yeah. Uh, we spent the day riding today together. It's been an absolutely cracking day. Fantastic. Yeah. If you want to see some of that footage, then go across to Teapot One's channel. It's going to have some videos up there. Again, once they're up, I don't know whether this video will go up before yours or whatever. Probably but I'll will. stick links below uh, <laughs> so you can go and have a watch of the riding we've been doing today together. So thanks again, Bruce. Great to meet you uh, finally, properly at last. TMF, and hopefully, we'll be doing uh, some more soon. Yes, excellent. We've, we've got to meet up again. We'll, uh, for sure, for sure. We'll that'll be great. The road. Excellent. So I hope you've enjoyed that. Look forward to speaking to you next time. Until then, it's cheerio from me and goodbye from him. Cheerio. Cheers, folks.